So the last topic in parasitology is your nematodes. So in helminth, we already spoke about trematode, cestode, and next is a nematode. Nematode is very interesting topic because in nematode, all important uh, parasites like your ascaris, hookworm, strongyloides, elephantiasis, uh, enterobase vermiculosis, everything comes here. So definitely you can expect two or three questions for your exam, for your PG exams or for NEET exam, FMG, doesn't matter, okay? So please remember, this is a very important topic for all. So nematode, as you remember, I already uh, gave you a clue how do I remember, how I remember the nematode. So I remember the nematode as what you remember, our South Indian actress Namita, she is round. Everything is round about her and her face is round, body is round, everything is round, round, round. So nematode is round worm, round worms. Okay, if you remember the shape, see, you know the shape. I mean, it's not that uh, difficult. The shape is like this. If it, it looks like a snake, right? It looks like a snake like this. Everybody must have seen in the patient or in your own stool or something. It's like a small snake. That's what you call it, a round worm. You know, the body is like round. That's what, okay. Tapeworm is like a tape. That's the difference where we studied there. Now, this is a round worm, okay. So, in round worm, the shortcut itself is very easy. You know why? Because the round worm itself, you know, uh, like it has what? It has the... The, the nematode itself has a clue for you. N E M E T O D. This itself gives you a clue. So, what are the organism comes under the nematode? So, N for Nicator. Nicator Americanus. Nicator Americanus. Okay, you know. E for Entero. Entero bios. Entero bios vermiculus. The one that causes the perianal itch in the children. And other E is your eye worm. Eye worm. Okay, this is your eye worm. Eye worm is otherwise lower, lower. We call it as lower, lower. Lower, lower, if you remember. Just beautiful eyes like this. That's it. Eye worm. It's called the eye worm. Remember, if you forgot also lower, lower eye worm, so you make a beautiful eye that becomes a lower, lower eye worm. Okay. Then M for M ko ulta kar, it becomes W. W is basically Usteriria. Usteriria. Usteriria bancrofti. That is which causes elephantiasis, right? Elephantiasis. And other species in that group only Brugia. Brugia malai. Okay, those uh, organisms comes here. Ushiriya, Bancrofti, Brugai, all those things comes here. Okay, A for 2A we have an cyclostoma. And other one is an cyclostoma. And other one is your Ascaris. Ascaris. Ascaris lumbricoid is the biggest one and the most, which is the most common parasite. Ascaris is the most common helminth, you can say. Most common helminth. Among infections, the most common one is this only, Ascaris. Okay, then T. T for we have what? T for, you remember, two T's we have. Trichinella and Trichuris Trichuria. Trichuris Trichuria. Trichuris Trichuria. Okay, got it? Okay. O for Oncocerca. Oncocerca volvulus. Oncocerca. O for Oncocerca. We'll talk about it. D for Dragon culus, dragon culus. If you remember, this is also called guinea worm, guinea worm, which is eradicated. We don't have it anymore. Okay. I'm sorry. Here is some, uh, I don't know why it's got deleted. And cyclo, and cyclo stoma. Okay. And cyclo stoma. Yeah. I'm sorry for the this thing. Okay. Yeah. And dragon culus is guinea worm. And E for Entero uh, eye worm. This is already told you. This is the eye worm. We already spoke. Eye worm is basically lower, 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 lower. Okay. And yes, for strongyloides. Strongyloides. Strongyloides stercoralis. Okay. We are talking about We are going to talk about it. So now individual. Now we'll go to individual organism and we'll study. So now, before going that, some can see these parasites, we can acquire the infection either by ingestion of eggs or penetration of the larva into our uh, through the skin, it penetrates into a body. It, two ways are possible. So, what are the how? What are which one goes through eggs by eggs? Okay, how it spread through eggs? Eggs ka shortcut. Remember, E A T. Eggs to kana hai, eat ho jayega. So, E is one is enterobios. Enterobios. Okay, one and enterobios is one. And other one is your other one is A for A for your ascaris. Ascaris egg, of course, right? Ascaris also through ingestion only. And what about tea? Trisha, trichinella. Pork, through the pork, eating of the pork. Okay, so these are by the eggs, you know, enter into a body and then it causes the infection through the eggs, which happens through the eggs. Okay, now transmission penetration through food. That means it penetrates to the food. Food can the jaiga in the dirty water you go or so sand, soil, wherever, bare foot may. Then this worm goes inside, then enters into the body and it matures in the lung and causes infections. So what are those? So what are the, the uh, one that goes through the penetration? If you remember there, 
in a, in a trematode, the one that goes to skin penetration is, which one you have? Cystosoma. Cystosoma. Yes, for a cystosoma. Same way, there are some other larvas in the nematode which goes to the skin. Easy is remember Santos. My name. Remember my name. Santos. Santos goes barefoot. Okay. Santos goes barefoot. Santos go barefoot. I don't have a shoe. I go in a barefoot. Remember. Okay. That's easy. Otherwise, sand, whatever you remember, even barefoot on the sand is also you can write. But remember my name or whatever. I remember uh, the, uh, my name is fine. It's easy. Okay. So what S for? Strongyloides. Strongyloides. And A for ancyclo. Ancyclostoma. Ancyclostoma. N for nicator. 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 Okay. So this is the thing. Now, again, there is something important I want to stress here. What, what I want to stress here. Here, if you see in hookworm, these two, ancyclostoma and nicator, are called hookworms. When you talk about hookworm, ancyclo, this question itself is important. Yeah, ancyclo and your nicator. Nicator. These two are hookworms. So that's what, what type of anemia they cause. They cause iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency anemia. Okay. If you remember, megaloblastic. Who causes the megaloblastic anemia? Megaloblastic, you know. What is that? Diphlobothrium, exactly. Diphlobothrium latum, diphlobothrium latum, and also Paseolopsis busci also causes vitamin B12 malabsorption. So, okay, that's also possible. Busci, bus, bada, diphlobothrium, bada. So, megala, megaloblastic is diphlobothrium, the big ones. Okay, these are from trematodes. Now, next is your entro. Now, we'll start individual uh, parasites. Okay, individual parasite, Entrobius vermicularis. Now, let's go with the Entrobius vermicularis. Another name. What are the other names for this Entrobius vermicularis? What is the other name? It is also called, lot of names we have. This enterobius vermiculis one, everyone we have in the childhood. We had perianal itching. And you would have seen also, you would have seen when you through the stool also, you can see that small, small worms like this, you know, tiny worms. Like, you know, it looks like this. Stool, may I say. So that's what it's called, what? Pin worm or thread worm. Pin or thread. That's it. Pin worm or thread worm is enterobius vermicularis. Another name. Okay. Pin worm or thread worm. Also called seat worm. Seat worm because you're sitting you know, on the seat, toilet seat or whatever seat. So that's what it's called. Seat worm also. So the most common in children. This is common in children. Rare in adults, common in children. And causing what? The main clinical feature is what? Perianal itch. Perianal itch. That's question. This is all our question. This is all our repeated questions. Okay. This is all our repeated questions. And now, what, uh, transmission is by ingestion of what? Ingestion of the eggs one i told you with the oral or auto infection auto infection obvious again it goes retrograde retrogradely the you know the uh, the worms can go and you know it, it causes the uh, reinfection it can cause reinfection in the perianal region that's called auto infection auto means auto self okay it goes okay so auto infection so what is the swab we are using a special swab that is important nih swab this is a question nih swab nih is nothing but national institute of health so they usually ask NIH only. You don't need to do the full name. But if some case, they give us a National Institute of Health. Okay. Ah, so uh, this one is uh, NIH swab or also called scotch tape. In the perianal region, what you stick it in the perianal region and take the thing out. And then what do you do? You put it on a smear. Uh, we put it on the slide and we make a uh, smear, wet mount, and then we see. So you see a non-bile stain. This picture is important. How does it look? It looks a... Uh, Plano convex like this. See, one side is flat and one side is convex with the larva inside, with the tadpole shaped larva inside. Okay, so plano convex. Plano convex egg. That's important for endoplasm. You'll never forget. Plano convex for pinworm. Plano convex for pinworm. That's it. P for P. Plano convex, whatever. How you want to remember? But sometimes you'll not get the word pinworm. You'll get endoplasm vermicularis. That's what you have to remember. Pinworm. Okay, this egg can be asked in your question also. Okay, right. Now, next one. So, next one is. I uh, will talk about the uh, next auto infections. So what are the auto infections? I told you already. Auto kya karta hai? Auto will hit on your chest. Auto, uh, if, if you forgot also, auto ko koi question hai, to don't get panic. Auto to hai. Okay, this is the auto. Let's say this is the auto. Okay, this is auto. Right, this auto. My poor auto. Okay, auto mein kya hota hai? Aapko chest ko, when you're walking, it hits your chest. Okay, remember like that. Auto kisi ko chest ko mar diya. Okay, auto hit on the chest. That's it, chest. Okay, so now let's talk about the chest. So chest may what are the organisms? We already discussed it. I'm going to repeat just one more time. Uh, it's like a revision only. Okay, so C for cryptosporidium. Cryptosporidium, the most common 
cryptosporid, the most common cause of diarrhea in HIV patient. And H4, H nana. We spoke about H nana, the dwarf worm, the dwarf, the smallest one, yeah, that H nana. And then E for Enterobius vermicularis, the one which we spoke now, vermicularis, Enterobius vermicularis, okay. And then S for uh, strongyloidis, strongy. And then T for tenia solium. These are the auto infections, okay, got it, done. So I'm repeating it only because we already spoke yes in last class. So now picture history, Korea, how to remember, sir, so many parasites, how to remember? It's very, very easy. You only have to remember. I'm not going to give mnemonics because you have in 19 subjects, you have, I don't know how many, 9,000 mnemonics. Nine, mnemonics, it's only you need one year to remember. Okay, so don't do that. You go with the word only. The word only plays tricks, okay? You go with the word. See, try, try, hai na? try, try, kya karna hai? try, 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 what should I try? Try to break coconut. Coconut. Maine coconut ke bola, I'll tell you. Try to break the coconut. Coconut is hota hai na? Okay. Word picture. Coconut. Huh? Try to break the coconut by whip. Whip hai to pata hai na? It's like this. Whip hai to? Maar hai na? The whip. The movie central used to see na? Whip. Okay. Whipping. Okay. Whip. Whip se. Okay. Whip or with the what with the barrel or tumble barrel or tumble tumble dumble sorry d u m na d u m b l l dumble dumbles the body with tumbles so kya karogi try try to break the coconut to hard hota hai usko break karne ke liye aapko ek whip chahiye nahi hai to ek barrel aur dumble chahiye usko upar dalne ke liye okay now ho gaya trikujus trikuris ka finished you understood why i said this uh, if you have uh, read the subject before, then it be uh, right now you must be guessing the answer already. Okay, so trichuris trichuria. What other name is whip worm? Hogya whip karo. Okay, coconut ka whip karo. And why I say coconut coconut because the characteristic coconut shell, coconut shell rectum. This one, this is the one. The picture mein aap kaise coconut shell jaisa aagya to coconut cake, coconut shell. All are right. Okay. Coconut cake. Koi bhi coconut aega. This only. Okay. This is try try to break the coconut with a whip or barrel or egg. Mene barrel or dumbbell cubulus. Look at this egg. This question was asked many times. Okay. This question is also asked many, many times. So please remember. This one. Look. It looks like a dumbbell. Side mein plug se like this. Okay. There are plug. This you call this plug. Side mein plug hota hai. So this is the dumbbell or barrel. Dumbbell. Dumbbell or barrel. P R R E L barrel. Okay, that's what. Okay, and please don't forget this one more barrel shape. Barrel shaped arthrospore. Arthrospore. Yaad aa raha hai? Kahan par hai? Which fungus? Barrel. 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 So yeh yeh barrel ke upar koon bitta hai? Koon bitta hai? Ek beautiful cock. Ek beautiful cock. Okay, cock. Uske upar bitta hai. Arthrospore. Remember, cockidiosis. Cocky D O D S. That's what I'm saying. If you go with mnemonic everything, you'll forget. So remember, with picture wise. Cock to cock hai. Cock hai. Cock kaha par beta hai? Barrel ke upar beta hai. Barrel kis ke paas hai? Arthur ke paas. Arthrospore. That is for your cocky diosa. That question is desert mein. Cock kaha par ta? Desert mein hoote hai. Desert rheumatism aa gaya. So desert rheumatism or valley fever ka? Valley, valley rheumatism, valley fever. That is your cocky diosa. Okay. So udhar ek barrel, uh, bar, uh, barrel aa gaya. Idhar ek barrel, dumbbell or barrel shaped aa gaya. Trigurus trochida. So easy and so beautiful. I don't know guys. Why you guys hate micro? But micro is the fun subject. You know, believe me. Okay. Okay, now next one. Ascaris lumbricoides. Ascaris lumbricoides. See, this is again, I already told you. So, Ascaris is so common, very common. Most of us we might have had in our lifetime once at least. Okay, so what are the things you should know in this one? So, let's go. Let's start. So, Ascaris lumbricoides is the most common helmet. Yeah, you know, it's the most common helmet. That's the question. Usually, how it happen? You egg is ingested, and after egg, it goes become a larva. Larva and the uh, intestine, and then it migrates to the lungs. Okay, it goes to the lungs again from the lungs, it goes to the intestine and mature into the adult worm. So complicated, no? That, but that is the thing. Okay, that's what it uh, does. Okay, so uh, uh, what it does, what it do? So it goes to the intestine, and mature into the adult worm. So while the larva is passing through the lung, it causes some syndrome, it causes pneumonia. What is that one? You remember, elf lung, elf or low plus, low plus. L O E F F L low plus syndrome. Low plus syndrome is due to migration of that larva. Egg under jaga, then migrate one a time mein ya jata. Okay. Next one is uh, the symptoms due to adult worm. Adult worm. Before going to the adult worm, see the adult worm. How does it looks? This is the adult worm. You see the round. I told you the, the uh, male, uh, male and female coiled one. Yeah, male and female coiled ones. And then here, uh, adult worm. It go. It is the intestine. So intestine. Me, what symptom It causes appendicitis. Appendicitis. 
Uh, why appendicitis? Because it's a big worm. So it causes obstruction, obstruction of the appendix lumen. So it can cause appendicitis. Otherwise, it causes what? Intestinal obstruction with cascade. Itna bada hai. That's what I say. It is the largest round worm. This is the largest round worm. That's the question. Largest round worm. Okay. So it causes intestinal obstruction and also it causes intussusception. Intussusception. Intussusception, you know, na? one and that's a type of obstruction may I go. Okay. So these are the possible things it can cause. You can have due to ask us. The question can come indirectly. The patient obstructs, but then uh, on the stool, may they saw adult form picture or they saw the eggs. This is the egg. Egg, we have two types of egg. Okay. This is the fertilized one. Fertilized. Here, this is non fertilized. Non fertilized eggs. Okay. It's got quite different, eh? Uh, I, I don't think so they will ask directly, but yeah, even if you're there also, don't make a mistake. It's very easy. I'll tell you how to remember. See, fertilized egg, mein, you have a space, crescent space. Hota hai. See, there's a space. Okay. Space is present. Yeah, but non-fertilized, mein dekho, there is no space. No for no. No for no. No for no. That's it. Pass. Pass. Ho gaya. And fertilized egg floats. A floats. A no float. Sare no, 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 aiga. Bas. Non fertilized me, no space, no floating. Fertilized egg me, space positive and it floats. Bas. This is the thing you have to remember. Very, very simple. So, Askaris Lumbrika is itna yad karna hai. Very, very. Askaris Lumbrika is the main one you have to go into. Right? Biggest round worm. Whenever people say round worm, the immediate thing that comes in mind is Askaris Lumbrika. Though all are round worms, but the, the common one is Askaris Lumbrika. Okay. So, that's what I'm uh, stressing on this. Okay. Right. Now, next one. Necator Americanus. A Necator Americanus uh, is usually, uh, again, uh, we already spoke about it, walking through the barefoot. San, I told us, Santos, my name, San. I walk in the barefoot. So I get the, I get the, uh, the which larva enters my uh, skin? Filariform larva. So what happened here? Usually what happened? Filariform larva. Filariform larva. It penetrates the intact skin. And then, of course, it migrates. It goes to the blood and it goes to the lung, causing pneumonitis. Pneumonitis. Okay. And also, again, uh, even it is intestine, what happened? It, it's a cycle, no? Lung and then lung again goes to the intestine. Then it goes to the intestine. It causes something. What it causes? It uh, starts to suck the blood. So how much blood is sucking? 0 0.03 ml of blood. It is sucking. Your naked Americanus. Whereas, your ancestral duodenale, it sucks how much? 0 0.2, 0 0.2 ml of blood. So both are both are hookworms, right? Both are hookworms. That means both are sucking the blood and causing what? Iron deficiency anemia. Okay, both are causing iron deficiency anemia. The amount of blood is important. For Nicator is 0 0.03. For ancestral 0 0.2 ml of blood it is sucking. Okay, right. Now, uh, ancestral also same, same pillary form, pillary. Uh, filariform yeah. larva penetrates the intact skin and it also causes something called ground itch. It causes ground itch. Okay, that's also important. It causes the ground itch. So, this is common for your. Uh... So, next topic, uh, we're going to talk about the. Yeah. Cutaneous larva migrants and the visceral larva migrants. So, as we told you, because these larvas, they penetrate the skin and then they migrate. So, there are two types of migration. One can be cutaneous. It can be just the what? It just migrates in the skin, cutaneous or visceral inside the organ. Okay. So, why I'm stressing here, there is one thing called in visceral larva migrants, the most common cause of visceral migrants is called toxocara, toxocara canis. I want to remember this because this is the one, excuse me, this is the only visceral one, Toxocora canis, uh, cause visceral larva migrants. Rest all comes under cutaneous larva migrants. In that, they will ask you exception. Cutaneous larva migrants are all except. Except, what do you choose? Toxocora canis. Toxocora canis is visceral. Just remember this point only, okay? Toxocora is always visceral. Rest all, your ancestral gnatoma, uncinaria, these names, all the strange names comes into the Cutaneous larva migrants. In that, again, I want to stress, Brazilian C is the most common, not the duodenal, most commonly, I'm duodenal, but 
रिमेम्बर एयर क्यूटेन इसमें द मोस्ट कॉमन इज द ब्रेजिलियंसिस ब्रेजिलियंसी ओके दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन वन राइट दैट्स इट ओके दिस वन आई वांट टू स्ट्रेस क्यूटेनियस एंड विसरल में वन थिंग आई वांट टू नो विसरल इज कॉज्ड बाय टॉक्सोकोरा कैनिस रेस्ट ऑल अदर थिंग्स योर एंसेक्लस टोमा ग्नाटोस टोमा दे ऑल कम अंडर द क्यूटेनियस लार्वा माइक्रोस ओके वन इंपोर्टेंट थिंग इन स्ट्रांग लोडिस वी कॉल इट एज व्हाट लार्वा क्यूरेंस लार्वा क्यूरेंस दैट्स व्हाट द नेक्स्ट वन इज दैट ओनली सो नाउ सी हियर इन दिस वन uh if you see in strongyloides it's called larva currents larva currents it means rapid movement uh, once it enters into the skin the strongyloides you know strongyloides strong so it just moves here and there here and there very very fast that's what okay so remember that that is also one important thing you are going to remember okay right now next chandler's index chandler's index is very popular you know that because it, it, it's basically it's for uh, epidemiological purpose If you are counting the number of hookworm eggs in per gram of stool in a population, in a population we are counting the eggs. So if the eggs is more than three hundred, then that is a important health. That's question. More than how much three hundred? So ideally, Chandler index for hookworm. Mr. Chandler, Chandley, Chandler, Chandler. क्या है Chandler को क्या है hookworm है, hookworm है. ठीक है hookworm है. और कितना होना चाहिए three hundred worm. W ये ये पूरा देखो तीन जैसा लग रहा है three एक इस three है ना? So three hundred. उटसाइड Now, next is your strongyloides. Strongyloides, I know, very important. You know, there's one thing, very a uh, few points in related to strongyloides, very very important here. Strongyloides, me men nahi hai. Women are strong. Women are strong. Strong me, we are only women, no men. Remember that, okay? So strong women, no men, okay? He move, and then what happens? The strong woman moves current and hyper. She moves like a current, and she's always hyper. Women are always hyper, no? They move like a current very fast, and they're hyper. You got it? A yeah. Strong lady, this only you have to remember. That means what I think? There is no male worm. Male worm, nee yeah. Okay, got it? Only female. So cutaneous, it causes cutaneous larva current. That's what we have. What we have the uh, we have, this is this is this is larva current. That's the once again I'm writing larva currents. We call this larva currents. Or creeping eruptions also. That's also right. Creeping eruptions because of fast movement. Subcutaneous one. It causes hyper infection. Is clearly this is the question in HIV patient. Which one causes hyper infection? Strongyloides. Strongyloides causes the hyper infection. The it exaggerates the infections in the HIV. Okay. So two things: hyper and currents or current is for what? Female strong strongyloides female. Okay. Wow. Well, that's it. Okay. Now next is your Usheria bank of tea. Usheria bank of tea. You know, usually Usher bite affect which system? Lymphatic system. You know, Usher means this is the Usher picture. You see the big elephant yes. Usher branch of T means itself. It is the elephant yes. So here, usually it affects the which system? Lymphatic, lymphatic. It affects the lymphatic system, lymphatic system. That you know. Now, which is the larva? Filariform larva. L three filariform larva. That also is important. L three. We have to stress on the word L three. L three is important. You remember the word L three. You have to remember L three. It is transmitted by which mosquito? Most common mosquito is Culex, but please remember, which elephant yes, or which branch of this one where all the three mosquitoes can cause. It means Culex can cause, Aedes can cause, Anopheles also can cause. If you remember, Anopheles causes which one? Your malaria. Your Aedes causes so many. Aedes is a tiger mosquito. So your dengue, uh, chicken gunia, any fever, fever comes, yellow fever, everything, every fever is caused by your Aedes aegypti. Okay, so but in elephant yes. How to remember? Culex is the most common. Coolies होता है ना? Coolies or poor? Coolies poor. बहुत काम करता है बिचारी लोग, है ना? So उसका जो उसका का legs में क्या होता है? Elephant yes, इस बड़ा होता है. बाद ज़्यादा काम करके करके उसके legs में क्या होता है? Elephant is होता है. Coolie का elephant is होता है. ठीक है? That's what I want to stress. Coolie, okay? Now I want the coolie. I'm not going to ask also. Do you remember where is that coolie comes? Coolie, eleventhal coolie. In the cetacosis, right? Okay, chlamydia cetacosis. But here, culi culex, culi is culex. Culex what? Culex is the thing. Of course, culex also cause which cause which diseases? Your 
जापनीज एनकेफलाइटिस एंड वेस्टनाइल फीवर आल्सो डोंट फॉरगेट जापान में भी कूली है वेस्टनाइल में भी कूली है वेस्टनाइल फीवर ओके क्यूलेक्स बट वन मोर क्यूलेक्स इज एलिफेंटियासिस बट बट वन थिंग आई वांट टू स्ट्रेस इन एलिफेंटियासिस एवरीथिंग कैन कॉज एलिफेंटियासिस ओके एलिफेंट के ऊपर सब जा सकता है क्यूलेक्स भी जा सकता है एडिस भी जा सकता है अनोफिलिस भी जा सकता है दैट्स व्हाट आई वांट टू स्ट्रेस ओके राइट नाउ adult worm what is adult worm cause adult worm cause the classic filariasis it means it obstructs the lymphatic system fir kya kya ho sakta hai aapko fever ho sakta hai lymphadenitis and elephantiasis 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 and hydrocele also because uh, scrotum mein testis ko lymphatic system obstruct karne mein patient can have hydrocele also okay that's what we know usually we say uh, uh, milky urine no we can sometimes we say milky urine milky urine is because of lymphatic urine that's basically lymph urine mein lymph aa jata hai that's because one of the cause is your ushuri bankruptcy okay please remember anything with related with the lymph system it's your ushuri bankruptcy then occult filariasis occult filariasis is something microfilaria causes uh, microfilaria here the adult worm occult is caused by the microfilaria the filaria itself the filaria itself so what is you should even filarias migrating it causes something called tropical isno filia tropical eosinophilia means uh, allergy to allergic reaction eosinophilia is allergic reaction so tropical eosinophilia is like constantly it's present that's called tropical eosinophilia is the question tropical eosinophilia is caused by tropical tropical eosinophilia is caused by your elephantiasis e for eosinophilia e for elephantiasis easy elephantiasis eosinophilia and e eosinophilia to you know if it's allergic then which immunoglobulin should rise immunoglobulin e exactly both are questions both are questions anything related to this okay so elephantiasis eosinophilia e everything is e e e e e e everything is e e e e e e okay right elephantiasis and now on the blood smear what you do usually ushuri bankruptcy has what type of uh, habit at which time it is active at the day time or at night time you must be knowing this one for sure usually they are active at night time that's what they saw nocturnal habit they have the nocturnal periodicity but so you can't uh, do testing night time it's not, not always possible to take out the blood at night time so you want to bring the worm in the day time so what you do what is the test you do you do dec test dec is a dec is a basically it's a diethyl carbamine provokin test okay diethyl carbamazepine provokin test okay so this is the te test is called dec dec is diethyl carbamazepine diethyl Carbamazepin, diethyl carbamazepin test or DEC test. Okay, you can do the test and then my, the, this microfilaria will come in the blood at uh, night time. So then you take that and if you make a jinsa, you will see like this. This is the worm you will see like this. Okay, this is the filari form. This is the microfilaria, microfilaria. And if you see in the tail tip of the microfilaria, there will not be nucleus, no nuclei. Remember, no nuclei. Ek to see uh, uh that's what there will be no nuclei itna bada elephant hai itna bada elephant hai theek hai elephant is very big elephant okay itna bada hai mota hai but uska tail mein no nuclei ye yaad karo no nuclei because i'm not going to stress it now here because in burgia malai you will be having uh, two nucleus and in deer uh, deer fly in uh, onchocerca there will be many nuclei you understand many nuclei but in elephant yes is no nuclei that's a clue okay with the no nuclei aapko question mein aayega to you remember elephant yes that's it okay now let's go to onchocerca volvulus onchocerca volvulus oh sir how to remember onchocerca lol was really confusing sir how to remember yeah i'll tell you how to remember don't worry it's very easy and simple again i told you this is my favorite so i don't want you guys making mistake yeah so onchocerca kaise yaad karo dekho uh uh let's start with uh, saying like this simu black color mein simu simran black color simran simu hum symbol simran kuch bhi bolo black color simran volvo bus mein gaya tha volvo bus mein wo kya hua tha he was going uh, he was going on the uh, some bridge bridge ke upar he was going on the bridge met accident accident hua बस का एक्सीडेंट हुआ इट फेल डाउन इन टू दिवर बस रिवर के अंदर गिर गया तो क्या हो गया ब्लाइंडनेस हो गया ओह सो सैड है ना सो सैड वेरी इजी सो ये ब्लैक सिमरन मैंने क्यों बोला ब्लैक सिमरन बिकॉज इट्स कॉस्ट बाय ब्लैक फ्लाई ये वाला है दिस इज द वन ब्लैक फ्लाई और इट्स ऑल्सो कॉल्ड सिमुलियम सिमुलिम सिमुलिम ओके सिमुलिन सिमुलिन सिमुलिम 
it's it's red or simulin. Okay, simu 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 is the thing. Okay, simulin is confusing, but usually give they give black red. Don't worry. But in case if they give simulum fly also, it's fine. Okay, so black simran volvo was Q because onco circa volvulus. It's the onco circa volvulus. And bridge bridge is just bridge. Accident was river me girgia. So what is the question? River blindness. That was the question. Okay, so onchocerciasis is caused by onchocerca volvulus. Onchocerciasis is basically river blindness, and that is caused by which um, which insect? It is caused by black fly or simulum fly. How easy it is, and you don't even ever make a mistake. And subcutaneous nodule is formed. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Nematode is very easy and very good topic. Interesting, so don't make mistakes in this one. Lower lower. Low lows, how to remember? Low lows is totally similar, similar. Maybe I may infection hota hai, how to remember? I'll tell you how to remember. Low low already clue hai. E deko. E, deer cry, cry, okay. Dr tears, okay. Deer cry low low in kaha par? Malabar me. Malabar is in Kerala, okay. Malabar is in Kerala. Okay. Deer cries low low. In Malabar, if even if you forgot also, they go. This is low, low, no? I say. This is a deer, right? This is a deer. Anna, I, I'm not good in this. Huh? Okay, deer. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Dot, 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 dot. Okay. This is a deer. So, dry, kya hota hai? Deer is crying. Deer is crying. Okay. Why I wrote this lower, 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 lower? Even if you forgot also, say go. Do I bana do lower ka ho gaya. I ho gaya. Okay. Is ka naam hai I warm. Ek to I warm. Okay. Dear cries. Dear ka I hai. I say cry ho ra I say cries low low. Low 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 ho gaya. Dear many kyu bola? Because it is called what? It's called dear fly or cries of scalia mene bola. You got it? Abhi ga samaj gaya? If you remember clues A, B, C, D me up mnemonics me yaad nahi aai ga. You will definitely make mistake. So remember like this. Lower 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 low low kon low low karta hai? Dear लो लो क्राई करता है डेर डेर प्लाई हो गया लो 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 हो गया क्राई क्राइसोप्स हो गया मलाबार मैंने क्यों बोला मलाबार तो मलाबार नहीं है कलाबार है कलाबार स्वेलिंग मलाबार को कलाबार बना दो बस ठीक है मलाबार केरला में क्या होता है डियर्स क्राई करता है ठीक है मलाबार में डियर्स क्राई करता है डेर प्लाई मलाबार लो लो करता है Malabar spelling. Very simple. It's a question definitely aega. Okay. So this is your this thing. And Calabar swelling in the skin and they have subconjunctival low asses. Of course, I to main enough. So subconjunctival low asses will be there. Okay. Right? That's it. Now trichinella uh, spiralis. Trichinella spiralis again important worm. Trichinella spiralis are usually they called as muscle worm. Muscle warm to kuch nahi hai. Usually you will get this picture. Is me kya hota? It's almost like a tenuous solium. Tenuous jaise ek. It's like a tenuous solium. Only what happened? Transmitted by eating the eating the eggs. First of all, eggs kaane mein eggs containing the la uh, the uh, the uh, it should be like uh, not the eggs actually. I would say the muscles containing the pork muscle. Pork ka muscles hota hai na? Pork ka muscle which is containing the larva that matures into the adult form in muscles. But uh, accidentally, the pork, uh, this uh, trichinella spiralis, it's present inside the muscle. Apne kalia, though it went into the body, larva matures into the adult form in our muscle and it looks like this. This is the one. This one you look. This is the adult form in the muscle. So that's the thing. So the, the difference, it's like a tenuous solemn, only difference here, adult form grows into the muscle. That's it. Okay. Now, how to remember here? Uh, if you if you confusion also, yaad nahi aayega to spiral ka aise yaad karo spiral muscle. Hai na muscles to spiral hota hai na muscles will be spiral. So spiral muscles. But spiral muscles. Okay, spiral is aage to only one thing. It's a skeletal muscle. Me kya hota hai? The adult worm you can see because you are eating the pork's muscle. Pork's muscle the larva it goes into body, it goes through a cycle and then deposit in our muscles, our skeletal muscle. So in our muscle, when you do a biopsy or whatever you check, you will see this. Okay, trichinella spiralis. Got it? Now next is dragon colossus. So now what to know about the dragon colossus? In dragon colossus, medinensis, otherwise called Guinea worm. Otherwise, it's called what? Guinea worm. It's called as the guinea worm. So, let's talk about this. Guinea worm. G-U-I-N-E. Guinea worm. Guinea worm. Okay. And it is not in India. It is already eradicated. We don't have it anymore. Okay. Usually, it was coming from the drinking water only. Usually, it was coming from the stagnant pool with which one? Cyclops. Cyclops. One is Diplobotrim. Aapka Diplobotrim also is coming from the Cyclops. If you remember, Phil goes in the cycle carrying the fish. Okay. And other one is your 
uh, cyclops is dragon closest also. This also question can be asked and it's eradicated. And the adult worm, usually then it, it goes inside, infected with the larva. Larva goes inside, it matches into adult worm, and then it comes out of the skin like this. This is the one how you do. If they give the picture like this and see which of the worm is exactly like this, it would be your dragon closest or guinea worm. So we don't have it, but in African countries, it's there. So the, the worm is removed like this one. Sort of treatment also, and it's coming. You roll it out and you just try to take it out. That's the thing. Okay. Got it? So then, all individual uh, parasites are done. Now, few extra topics, important points. I think we already discussed it just, just once again. Uh, the questions can be asked in uh, uh, from the general part. You know, they can ask you from the general part. So what are they? non well stand egg and the eggs that float in the eggs that float in the nether. So we'll talk about it now. Okay. So, uh, non well stand egg. See, I want to repeat it. Uh, I have a problem in writing here, I think. Let me just try once again. Okay. I... I can't write it here. Okay, I'll tell you uh, one second here. Okay. Ah, so what are the things? So what are the uh, non -bell Neha is non bile stain. Okay, Neha is not, but Neha is beautiful. Uska bile nahi hai. She's a healthy girl. So N for necator and E for enterobius, enterobius. H for H nana. A for ancyclostoma. Because necator agya to ancyclostoma bhi to ana hai na. Both are hookworm. So that's what, okay? So this is common. Neha is what? non bile stain. Okay, one. Now, X that float. X cone float karta hai. Winter mein, you have to float when there is heat only. So water mein heat ho to float kar sakte ho na. Otherwise, you can't float in the cold water. So, heat to float. Heat to float. Okay, shortcut. So again, which will float? One is your H nana dubara agya. E for again entrobase. I don't know. This Entrobis and Hichinana, both are small, chota, chota, hai, but dono choto friends hai. I don't know why. They love each other. They are always friends. Okay, These two are always friends. Everywhere they go together. Hichinana and Entrobis. Though they are from a different family, one is a dwarf worm and one is a small, thin worm, but they are friends. Wherever they go, they go together. Okay. So they float. Okay. Uh, and then other one, A for uh, your Ascaris. A, uh, a for, uh, sorry, A for, uh, there's two A's. And Cyclostoma. Only ancyclostoma will come here. Only ancyclostoma will float. Okay. Ancyclostoma. And T for your, which one? Trichuris. Trichuria. Trichuris. Trichuria. Okay. I'll come here. And another one to float. Have for fertilized egg of, fertilized egg of Ascaris. Fertilized egg of Ascaris. Okay. Fertilized egg. Okay. Float. Fertilized egg. F F O G A. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Okay, H nana is enterobius. Enterobius. Once again, I'm writing it here. No problem. And uh, and cyclostoma. That's it. Okay. So these are the things. So trichuris, trichuris, and fertilizer. Because these are the ones which can float. Here, be careful here because of course they to confuse you. They'll give you trichinella. It's not trichinella spiralis. Not trichinella spiralis because try matu kya vip. Whip float karta hai. Only whip will float. Whip to like a, it's a whip, you know. So whip of uh, whip ko pani mein do, it will float. So whip worm will float, but not a spiralis. Uh, try try whip to break the coconut with dumbbell or your barrel barrel set. Okay. So ancyclostoma is there. Ancyclo will come, and then another uh, ascaris for fertilization. So you will have questions. So please don't confuse with any other things. Okay. So these are the topics which I want to collect. And now we are finishing our parasitology. So it's very interesting. I hope. Guys, very useful. Don't worry. More uh, classes are coming with more revision and more uh, shortcuts will be told for you. We're repeating, it will come automatically. Thank you so much.